kid's got a future. Toombs' friend would totally say she here, but the movie decides to play its own version of the pronoun game to hide a future twist. Please turn over any and all of No one saw that? A lot of assholes who made this mess are getting paid to clean it up. Bokeem Woodbine would be excellent at CinemaSense. I'll tell you what. Let's keep it. The world's changing. It's time we change too. And like that, he's a villain. This is as good a time as any to mention that the collective timelines of all the films in the MCU is basically f Okay, I initially ignored the 35 seconds of two Sony company logos at the start of the film, but if you're going to prologue and then give me a 35 second Marvel logo five minutes into the film, f***ing send in that twice. New York. Queens. Narration. Just making a little video of the trip. You know, you can't show it to anyone. Yeah, I know. Then why is Happy letting him film this at all? No one has actually told me why I'm in Berlin. Or what I'm doing. I have to say, Peter's cell phone captured video journal is way the f*** too over-edited. Almost like it's a Marvel film. Hey, May. How you doing? What are you wearing? Something skimpy, I hope. Stark's continued commentary on May's attractiveness has now officially moved from the creepy column to the offensive column. Just a stupid, dangerous thing to do in view of all the school's front windows. Look at all those goddamn windows. How's your eye? Yeah, she's all right. Oye, la tía de, de una italiana que está buenísima. Jesus Christ, dear Kevin Feige, get your Marissa Tomei boner in check, because it's starting to creep us all out. Gotta admit, I'm not a fan of the Stark Spidey suit. Spider-Man is cool because he's smart enough to build a suit himself. I don't need another Iron Man, thank you very much. Okay, I'm not made of steel. Spider-Man giving directions to an older lady is exactly what Spider-Man is all about. And this movie just earned a sin off. Don't make me come down there, you punk. Stan Lee cameos have become caricatures of themselves at this point. Well, what is that thing? Toombs has been selling this alien tech for the past eight years, and this is the first time Spidey or anyone else has seen any of it. Spider-Man is fighting the Avengers in a bank on 21st Street. This is supposed to be funny and play off of what Spider-Man has already said, but clearly this guy can see from across the street those aren't the Avengers, so why tell the cops that? Yeah. Happy, the craziest thing just happened to me. Happy hasn't answered Peter's calls or responded to any of his texts for the past however many weeks, but conveniently chooses now to answer one of his calls. In Queens, where every other resident is old with nothing to do but spy on their neighbors, nobody sees this. Isn't he close enough to close this door with his hand? Does he need to shoot the web? Other than to further sell his in the room right now best friend's reaction? Peter just came in from the window directly behind Ned. How did he not see him or sense him? This movie leads you to believe Spider-Man doesn't have spidey sense, or doesn't have it yet. Why is that exactly? What is removing that from the mythos of this character adding? The turkey meatloaf recipe is a disaster. I could have told you that before you started cooking, but whatever. I, I need a new backpack. That's five. How many new backpacks does he need before Aunt May starts asking reasonable questions? Ten? Fifteen? Five clearly doesn't cut it. Can you spit venom? Can you summon an army of spiders? This series of Ned asking questions to Peter is hilarious. You know him too? Yeah, we met. I stole the shield. But there is zero chance no one sitting around Peter and Ned can't hear what they're saying. Pretty sure this guy's a war criminal now, but whatever. I have to show these videos. It's this guy has a point. Also, public school in a nutshell, everyone. <laughs> okay, another sin off. This is funny and all, Spider-Man in the suburbs, but there are a bunch of trees he could be swinging off right behind him in this shot alone. How did these stupid ass henchmen think they could demo a blue alien explosion gun without anyone taking notice? And Peter just happens to be acting indecisive on a roof to conveniently see it. I just need something to stick out with somebody. I'm, I'm not trying to shoot them back in time. Look, it may be hard to buy a gun in New York, but it's gotta be easier than getting access to the only dudes that have this technology, right? If Childish Gambino just wanted to stick somebody up, why not just go with the finger in your pocket technique? Movie. movie steals an outtake from us. Ah! Somehow Spidey survives this fall, even though later Karen tells him that falling off the Washington Monument would be lethal. Iron Man X Machina to the f***ing max! Iron Max Machina? That is not what you thought when I took on Captain America. Trust me, kid. If Cap wanted to lay you out, he would've. Basically, the whole problem with Civil War in one sentence. If you come across these weapons again, call Happy. Considering he never answers the phone when Peter calls, I'm not sure how this is good advice. And how the hell did the cell phone even survive that thousand foot fall and submersion in a lake a few minutes ago? Sorry, Peter. I guess we're still losers. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, I'm squad. Didn't Ned get a ride from May to the party? How's he getting back home? I'm the shocker. I shock people. What is this, pro wrestling? Hot damn, even this movie's main villain would be excellent at Cinema Sins. What if you can afford me out there, though, right? everything I know. Not Tom Hardy is not too bright to be threatening not Birdman like this. Yeah, that seems smart. Also, Peter decides to try and get to the bottom of the whole purple gun thing mystery during class and somehow doesn't get discovered. These guys would not be strolling around a 2017 New York high school during operating hours without raising some sort of suspicion. Spidey homing beacon? Kinda lame. Thanks Tony Stark for ruining most of what made Spider-Man cool. The date for the academic decathlon on this poster says it's on September 14th. However, the poster from earlier in the movie showed it being from October 13th through the 15th. 
Tony Stark, billionaire and genius, can't create tech a high school sophomore can't hack into. Detecting three individuals. Giving Spider-Man his own Jarvis is, yet again, anathema to what Spider-Man is all about. Does it make sense in this universe with the way they've used Stark to introduce Spidey? Yes. But as much as I enjoy this movie, I must repeat that I am not down with Iron Man Spidey. And yes, you comic fans, I know there's an Iron Spider thing in the comics. I don't care. Activating instant kill. No, 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 no. I don't want to kill anybody. Deactivating instant kill. Why would Tony even put this setting in the suit? And how does it work exactly? All of a sudden his webs become poisonous? You have 576 possible web shooter combinations. Jesus f Taser webs? I don't want taser webs! Neither do I, Peter. Neither do I. You appear to have a mild concussion. No lie, the NFL sued Sony for this line of dialogue. Activating reconnaissance drone. Spider God, Spider God, there's literally nothing this suit can't do for him. It's literally not a Spider-Man movie unless the girl he likes ends up in mortal peril. Literally. This is your chance, Peter. Kiss her. Why in the ever-loving f*** would Tony Stark write a suit AI for Peter that gives him relationship advice? And honestly, who would trust relationship advice from something written by Tony Stark anyway? I don't see how f***ing up your mode of transportation is helpful. Facial recognition on the footage of that encounter. Pfft, talk to me when you're smart enough to suggest this without being asked, stupid suit lady Karen. I record everything you see. That's super convenient for Peter right now. Also, how doesn't Stark have access to this footage? Um, that looks terrible. A red and blue paper airplane would've looked more like a gliding Spider-Man than that sh does. Activate taser web! Hey, wait a second. He didn't give any such command back before casually tossing grenade web. But later, he has to say... Web grenade! Web grenade! ...to get that web setting. If only there was a large body of water close by to throw this in. This spray a bunch of webs and when it doesn't work, use brute strength sequence is way more like the subway scene in Spider-Man 2 than I think this movie intended. Jesus Christ poses Jesus. How the hell did Tony know to bring these things? The ship only split down the middle like 90 seconds ago. Does he just always travel with dozens of tiny thruster bots? Is everyone okay? No thanks to you. There was almost zero chance no one died in that incident. Everyone else said I was crazy to recruit a 14-year-old kid. Everyone else was right. Well, this is the fakest background that ever faked being a background. I guess you already have a date to homecoming. Actually, I'm so busy planning and I never really got around to that part, so... <laughs> yeah, no. That girl has a date, a backup date, and three hot friend zone dudes on standby. I know many of you love this moment, and more power to you. But the sheer odds of Peter's nemesis being the dad of his date are just... I mean, you could win the lottery more easily. You disappeared like you always do, like you did in DC too. Movie mostly redeems the coincidence dad thing with this scene where he realizes who Peter is, and which ends with one of the coolest hero-villain conversations ever. I'll kill you and everybody you love. This entire scene absolutely rules. Another sin off but also might want to pull away from the very public place you're currently in front of before pulling out that gun. Gotta go. I'm, I'm sorry. Why does he have to go? Other than there wouldn't be a movie if he doesn't. The sanest thing to do here would be to call Happy and let him know you've discovered the identity of the vulture and he's got something going down tonight. Ah! How did Shocker know this was the door Peter would come out of? How the hell did Vulture even have time to call Shocker and get him here to do this? Peter went inside for like 45 seconds. Shocker must have been in the trunk of Vulture's goddamn car. Shocker kicks the web shooter instead of crushing it or shockering it. I get that Spider-Man has insane strength, but he doesn't have the Stark costume on anymore. He's basically just wearing a hoodie. So how is he not cut up all to hell here and or knocked unconscious? He was knocked unconscious earlier while in the better suit after hitting the top of the transport truck. I know when Bronzino's fresh, and that was not fresh. Is there some weird comic thing with Spider-Man and Bronzino? Because in The Amazing Spider-Man, the dialogue makes a point of saying they're eating Bronzino at Gwen's house. This is just too f***ing weird to be a coincidence, right? You gotta be me. Happy hangs up on Ned and basically creates the need for this movie to even have a climax. He takes this call like a normal human being and Iron Man ends the shit in about three minutes flat. We just gotta load Tony's old Hulkbuster armor, prototype for Cap's new shield, and the Megging, the Meg, the Thor's magic belt. It's the MacGuffin plane. I'm looking at porn. <laughs> love Ned. Why wouldn't Peter just web up tombs right now? You know how this wouldn't have been an issue if Peter had webbed up both f***ing hands? Couldn't he, at this point, like, step forward? There's literally nothing in front of him right now. Retro reflected panels engaged. How did Tomb's crew know so much about this moving day bullshit and that the plane would be cloaked? Just one scene of them paying off a guy on the inside is all it would have taken. If they've got these alien balls, why do they even need to make the weapons and sell them? They could just enter vaults or whatever the f*** they wanted to and steal all the money they needed. They'd be set for life. They went to this much trouble with security and got or built a f***ing invisible jet, but didn't put any locking mechanisms on the actual crates themselves. Just a typical homecoming uh, on the outside of an invisible jet. Uh. Why did my girlfriend's dad? Cute line, but she is not your girlfriend. She only went out with you once to a dance where you immediately abandoned her. 
Sony made a movie, and Marvel said, hey, let us edit that fight scene for you in our signature style. And Sony said, no way, but Marvel did it anyway. Good thing no one was hanging out on Coney Island on this night. Is Spider-Man also resistant to fire somehow? Between the ferry and the plane and now this, he should just be ash at this point. But my friends call me MJ. What? F you, movie. I thought you didn't have any friends. I didn't. And why do you now, exactly? You've done nothing but flip people off and make mean drawings of them this entire movie. So what happened to change all this? And I'll introduce the world, the newest official member of the Avengers. Why would Tony go from, I need the suit back, to you're part of the Avengers after one heroic moment from Peter? He took the suit for Peter going after the Vulture. And then when Peter goes after Vulture again, boom, welcome to the club. He's still a 15-year-old kid. Where's the kid? He left. Pepper's here, too? This really does feel more and more like Iron Man 4. Ha ha, they tricked you, Robert Downey Jr. I know you said you didn't want to do a fourth, but they tricked your ass. What the f Peter, Peter really needs to learn how to close and lock a door. Patience. The movie's final end credit scene is a big old f you to everyone that stayed to watch something at least a smidge more entertaining than a troll. This place is horrible. Smells like balls. What are you? I'm Batman. Hey, suit lady. Yes. I kind of feel bad calling you suit lady. I think I should probably give you a name. Samantha. Like Liz. No, no, no. What about Karen? Samantha. Peter. Don't tell Harry. The world's changing. It's time we change too. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Damn. Ah!